The GWI Hinterland Department continues to implement our improvement program uh, and 2018 was a very successful year for our regions, especially regions 1, 7, 8 and 9. We undertook several different improvement projects and we provided improvement to the lives of more than 20,000 persons throughout regions 1, 7, 8 and 9. In region 1, we undertook improvement works in Mabirumo where we have improved the production from our springs from three hours, three to four hours daily to about eight hours daily. And our springs, we, this is because of refurbishment works and uh, troubleshooting of our system, in addition to undertaking development works within the distribution system, leak repairs and ensuring that our systems are configured properly. We also uh, undertook works in Port Aitumo where we reconfigured that system. Our system was very old and, uh, and what we did was to ensure that we have mapped that system, we installed flush out valves. We, we also monitored the quality of water that we were producing because we had a challenge where water being supplied from the Port Petrumo River was contaminated with mercury and so GWI tested and had to retest several times to ensure that this water is safe and uh, for human use. And so we continue to provide water supply to Port Kaituma. Our system has improved. We are undertaking drilling of a new well in Port Kaituma. We've completed drilling of a well in Ornok and, and that well is supplying a significant part of the community and we intend to continue with our drilling program in 2019 to ensure we transition from provision of surface water in Port Kaituma to groundwater, and that is one of our major plans for 2019. I'm Joseph Calistro. I'm teacher of the Northwest Secondary School. Uh, in matter relating to the water system in my community, Mamuma Settlement, uh, there's a slight improvement over the past two months to now, but before then we have, haven't gotten any water, maybe because the pipes were, were not functioning properly. There was a lot of breakage and so on in the pipe. However, now we are, it is a slight improvement. I am Jose Francis. I reside here in Port Kaituma. The water system. For the past few years, we've been having some hiccups with the water system. But I observed since I returned back in the, um, a few months back, in November, I observed that the, the men of Guy were doing a lot of uh, community work in terms of plumbing and I observed that um, the plumbing system have improved a very good lot. We partner with the village council of Santa Rosa and uh, we've implemented a project uh, in drilling of a new well at Coco and also an improvement project where we've provided new services in the Rincon area for residents in Santa Rosa and that project has significantly brought benefit within that community. We, we are undertaking a project in Kamwata and that project is going to roll over in 2019 to be completed. In Region 7, we undertook improvement project. Uh, in Chenapau, we have started a project which is, which is continuing in 2019, which will, con which will conclude by March of 2019. Chinawing, we undertook a re refurbishment project, an improvement project that brought new access to potable water for the entire community. In Wailin, we have installed a new water system that the entire community is benefiting from potable water, treated water within Wailin. In Region 8, we are, we are undertaking drilling of a new well in Campbelltown, Parmakotai. We are undertaking uh, construction of a new potable water system to provide water to the entire community and that project is expected to be completed in 2019. In Region 9, we've undertook drilling of eight new wells in collaboration with the Brazilian Army. We've undertook refurbishment works. Within Letem, our pump stations have been improved. We have drilled a new well in the industrial site, uh, Letem, and in Sand Creek, we have a new well and we're working to activate these infrastructure in 2019. On the whole, 2018 was a very successful year for our hinterland department. 
and we continue to show commitment. Our team from the hinterland is very committed to work with our Indian, indigenous brothers and sisters to ensure that we bring equal access to potable water to the villages across the country. And our hinterland unit is predominantly focusing in regions 1, 7, 8 and 9, whereas our regional units, departments, are focusing on the other areas such as regions 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 10. So on behalf of the, all the members of our hinterland team, we'd like to say that we are committed and we look forward to working with the residents of our indigenous communities and the people of Guyana in 2019.